Hey guys, welcome back. So I have a really, really fun video today, and it is all about lips. And I love lipstick. If you can't tell, I love to rock bright lips. I like dark berry lips, I like red lips, I like nude lips, I love lips. I love them all. So today we're going to talk about my lipsticks I could not live without. And I have so many favorites that I'm actually going to break this up into drugstore and high-end. I wasn't really sure if I should break it up by like colors or if I should just do like more affordable and then higher end because I like them both. I mean there's a lot of lipsticks at the drugstore that I really enjoy but there's also a lot of high end ones I enjoy. So we're just breaking this up between drugstore and high end. So let's just, another thing I wanted to mention before I start swatching these and showing them to you is that I have a, I'm going to do a high end version of this, probably going to post this. On Wednesday and so today is Monday or when you watch this it'll be Monday and so the other thing I wanted to tell you is that um, I have a products I couldn't live without video now um, I filmed this prior to having this set up so if you wonder why it looks different it was filmed uh, a couple months ago but it's definitely worth checking out worth watching because it's not it doesn't I don't think it has any lipsticks in it it is other products that I use on the daily that I literally could not live without so I will link that below, go check that video out, and then stay tuned for the drugstore version. Alright, let's just get started. I'm going to start, and I have them kind of categorized into colors. So let's start with nude. Um, I love Milani's lipsticks. I feel like they are awesome quality. The price point is ridiculous for the quality that you get. First of all, these are the Milani Color Statement Lipstick Line um, lipsticks, they come in a gold tube like this and then the color and the name is on the bottom which is really nice for storage. Second of all, they kind of have like a fruity Jolly Rancher type scent. Third of all, these are meant to go on opaque in one stroke and that is absolutely true. Fourth of all, they are like five dollars. So this one is in the shade Nude Cream. This is an absolute must-have. Look at that, I didn't get that quite right. Um, I love a nude, but I like a nude to have a little bit of pink or a little bit of peach. And this kind of has the best of both worlds. Definitely a must-have lipstick in my world. I could not live without this lipstick. If I... I was also going to say, I should have said this first. Why didn't I say this first? If I were to lose any of these lipsticks, I would literally have to go out and buy them. Because I love them that much. Second one is a limited edition, I know. But it's limited edition right now. So, if you haven't found these yet, um, if you find them, go get one. Um, it's the new Maybelline Nudes. It comes in a tube like this, just really pretty and chic and nude. And this is in the shade 945 Stormy Sahara. And it's also kind of like a nude, but this is a um, more of like an orangier, peachy nude. And that's Stormy Sahara right there. I like the quality of these Maybelline lipsticks, and once again, it's definitely an affordable option, as are all of these. So I'm not going to keep repeating that, because, duh, that's why you're watching, right? Um, so that's the Stormy Sahara. Third one is, I've talked about this before in my Friday Loves, and it is also by Maybelline. I guess I should show you the tubes, as if you don't know, but Maybelline has, like, the nude tube, then they have the vivid tube, which is red, then they have this color, then there's the purpley ones are purple, so like their tubes kind of match the shade range. Um, this is called Warm Me Up, and this is a nude that is more rose. It's almost like a rosy mauve. I don't know, all I know is I love this color. So this color is one of those colors that you can wear with anything. It's like uh, the color of your lips, but maybe like a shade darker or a shade lighter dependent upon your lip shade. But I love this one in the shade Warm Me Up, absolutely must have. Okay, what do we have next? The next, let's kind of move into the pink category. And I need to wear pink lips more often. I'm really into coral right now. This shade will be in my high-end lipstick must haves because let's be honest, look at that. Doesn't, isn't that beautiful? Oh. Like, I put it on and I'm like, oh, this is so gorgeous. What are you doing? You're supposed to be napping. Well, it's morning. It's morning? Yeah. Actually, it's the afternoon. Yeah, no, it's morning. Oh, that's my daughter. We'll be right back. <laughs> Just when you think they're napping and then they wake up early. This ha has been happening a lot lately. <laughs> it's been a trend around here. Okay, what were we, we were talking about pink lipsticks. All right, that's the next category. So this is a 
fabulous shade, like a definite wearable shade of pink. And this is by NYX in the round tube. I like this, for this formula. It's so creamy. What is this called? Fig. So NYX has the color in the bottom with the number and then the actual name is on the top of the tube. Um, this one is called Fig. And this is just, oh, man. These are really creamy. <laughs> like compared to the Maybelline and um, Milani, these suckers are really creamy. So that's Fig. Look at that. Just a beautiful mid-tone classic pink shade. Love this. And these lipsticks are like $5. And then when NYX at Ulta ha often has the buy one get one half off, I mean you can really like almost buy the entire collection for the cost of a couple high-end lipsticks. And I really like the NYX lipsticks. The next shade is um, a Revlon lipstick. And this is the Super Lustrous Formula once again. This is in the shade Primrose. This is a really pretty cool toned pink. Almost blue toned I guess I, I would say. That's Primrose right there. I have heard it compared to like Max Snob. I do not own Max Snob lipstick. But I really like this cool toned pink. Sometimes I get a little leery to wear them because I'm not sure if it looks good on me or not. But I, when I do wear this, I find that the blue in my eyes just really pops. And so I really like the um, blue toned pink in this, this particular one. Um, not necessarily brighter ones because sometimes they'll scare me just quite frankly. And this one I had to buy because it's my daughter's name. And then I put it on and I'm like, ooh, this is beautiful. Um, it's called Chloe. And it is by NYX, the round tube ones. And it is this beautiful, like, fuchsia color, but it almost has, like, a blue shift to it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that. Um, let me just swatch it here for you. Just a really classic fuchsia. Yeah, it definitely has a little bit of, like, a blue tone, blue, like, shift to it, Can you, or almost like iridescence. I really like this shade. I think this is another. Just, you know, it's not too bright of a fuchsia. Um, you could definitely brighten it up with a gloss or tone it down with a gloss, but I just like, I don't know. I think a bright lip is just so stunning on women, and I think everyone needs to wear a bright lip sometime. Don't be afraid, girls. It's, it's gorgeous. All right, this next one is also by Milani. Another absolute must-have. I love this color. I wear this a lot in the summer, and this is called Rose Hip. Check it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't even need to ask why I love this. Just look at it. In Milani's packaging, like, I'm a sucker for packaging, especially gold packaging, because I really like gold. Who doesn't like gold? And, yeah, this is just stunning. That's rose hip. It is so opaque. I just, you know, you just cannot go wrong with these Milani lipsticks, because ugh, the pigmentation, the price, I mean, the lasting power, fabulous. And here we go. First Vivid. I love the Vivid line from Milani. I think they did a fabulous, fabulous job at the quality of this lipstick. Like, by far, probably one of my absolute top favorite. Um, what am I trying to say? Uh, pigmentation? I don't know. I don't know. I spit it out. Okay, anyways, this is the Vivid Rose. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, like a it's like a fuchsia, but more pink, not so purple. Almost has a little bit of red to it. Love that. And this is Vivid Rose by Mayb Maybelline and the, Vi the Vivid collection. Obviously, because it's like neon. All right, next, let's move on to, into some corals. Yes, my beloved corals. First one, I've talked about it before a million times. This is Vibrant Mandarin, also from the Vivid's line. An absolutely stunning, bright, corally orange shade. Perfect for summer. For me, a definite must-have. I cannot be without this lipstick, like, ever. Um, another coral that... Oh, look at that. Milani. Oh, I love you. Flamingo Pose. I'm not paid by Milani, by the way. They don't know who I am. I just like their lipsticks. This is like a pinky coral. So it looks like that. And it's right here. So it's more pink than the um, Vibrant Mandarin or the uh, Vivid one here. But, or whatever. Anyways, I'm stumbling over my words. <laughs> I, I just I just love that lipstick. Another coral, and this is the first one I'm going to show you by the Rimmel line, Rimmel Kate. These are nice, too. I really do like these. Um, this is number 110. Oh, my goodness. I need to wear this, like, tomorrow. 
Um, where should I do this now? I think we're going to have to move to the back of my hand. I'm kind of making a mess here. This is number 110 by Rimmel. And this one, compared to the other two, it's kind of in between these two shades. So this is it right here. It's got a little bit more orangey red to it. And oh my gosh, it's kind of similar to what I'm wearing on my lips actually. Love that. And that's the Rimmel Kate number 110. All right, that's it for um, corals. My last category is going to be like berries and reds. The first is my favorite lip butter that I own. And so I have other ones I really like, but I could not be without this one. Absolutely never. It is like my lip color, but better for real. Like it's like the color of my lips. I have very pigmented lips. And this is the lip butter in the shade Berry Smoothie. I love this one. I actually have used quite a bit. We're getting kind of down. The lip butters, if you're not familiar, they're literally like a lip buttery chapstick. No, like a lip buttery chapstick, I guess, with pigment. Um, super comfortable on the lips. If you just want a sheer wash of color, there are some lighter shades. There are some that are a little bit more pigmented than others, but this is Berry Smoothie. And it's looking really dull next to this, yeah, quite frankly. Um, but just another color that you throw on your lips and doesn't really take much thought. Like, oh, I don't know what lipstick I want to wear. Oh, I'll just, you know, it's one of those lipsticks you can keep in your purse or keep in your van. I, I mean, you probably don't drive a van. I drive a van. Keep in your car and just put it on when your current color fades because it just will look good. So, love that. Um, my next deeper shade is, oh, that's kind of like, I'm going to do this one is like my one berry shade that I have. And I do like berry lipsticks. I don't have a lot of berry lipsticks from the drugstore. So I'm showing you this one because this is stunning. It's a Rimmel lipstick again in the black tube. I think that means it's matte or maybe the red one was matte or satin. I don't know. I don't remember what the difference is. This is number 09, I think. I don't know. It's tricky because if you go like this, it's 06. So, or 60. 9 or 60, one of the two. Um, yeah, this sucker is so pigmented. Oh. This would actually look really good with what I'm wearing today. Uh, look at that. Check it out. Stunning opaqueness. Ugh, gorgeous. And my last two are in the red category. This is kind of like a pinky red. It's by Revlon. It's called Cherries in the Snow. It's oh, beautiful. I think this is like a staple every woman needs this shade. Because it's just a stunning pinky red. Look at that. Just so beautiful. Just, ugh, brainless. And my last one is red, and if I, I was looking through all my drugstore lipsticks, and if I could only pick one, I would pick this one by Milani. It's called Red Label. It is your classic red lipstick. Just classic red lipstick. Its undertones are more, it's like a deeper red. I don't know, it's really classic. It's like a deeper red, but it has a little bit of blue undertones in it and just a hint of orange and wow I can't exactly turn my arm the way I needed to but oh, just beautiful that's it that's all she wrote those are all my absolute must-have drugstore lipsticks that I would recommend that I use that I love and that's all she wrote there so stay tuned for the high-end version and go and watch the products I can't live without I'm going to continue to do series like this of things that are just hands down my favorites things that I love and wear and use and would recommend so follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you are not already and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed leave me a comment below with some of your favorite must-have drugstore lipsticks I'd love to know because I'm always in the market for a new one and I hope you guys have a fabulous day today, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.